Welcome back to this week's Untamed Science Podcast. Now, for the last week, we've been here in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, riding around on snowmobiles, checking out the frozen north. And we're doing this week's podcast on black bear hibernation. Black bear hibernation. And while we're roaming through this country, I realized there's not a lot of animals that we're seeing and that's because most of them are buried down deep in their dens, hibernating. Hibernation. Now, hibernation is a term that scientists use to describe a time when animals go into a state of inactivity. Most of the time, this is so that they can conserve energy in a time when food is short, like in the winter. That means badgers and squirrels and chipmunks, and the largest of them, the American black bear. And I wanna talk about black bear hibernation because you see, hibernation in and of itself does not mean the same thing for all animals. Now the first thing we did to help us understand black bear hibernation is we hooked up with the DNR here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to help with the study they're doing on black bears. And it's pretty cool because we found the mother who had a couple of yearlings with her. We pulled them out, we took measurements, and then we very gently put them back in their den and let them hibernate for the rest of the year. And secondly, we found a bunch of black bear experts to help us understand what hibernation for a black bear is all about. Well, generally, People think of hibernation as uh, they go to sleep in the winter and stay in the, win in the den all winter. They don't typically do that. It's more of like a torpor. They, their body slows down a little bit. Um, uh, they don't go into a deep sleep like maybe a, a smaller mammal might. Like people think of hibernation, everybody's out cold. Bears are not out cold. Bears do something physiologically that's really different. Basically, they aren't going to the bathroom. They aren't urinating or defecating and um, eating or drinking. They probably, a lot of them may come out of the den and get a little bit of snow from time to time if they start to get a little bit dehydrated. But in the summertime, if they tried to do that, the waste products uh, from burning their own fat, metabolizing, making energy for themselves, those waste products, those would poison them. When they're hibernating, their heart rate goes quite low. Their body temperature drops 5 degrees to 10 degrees, something like that. They try to conserve energy. They try to conserve water. That's very important. If they breathe out moisture, they can breathe a lot of that moisture back in and conserve that. So usually they build a big nest either in the den or sometimes they're just out in the open and they build a big nest around themselves. And that insulates them from the ground and also insulates some of the lower part of their body from the air. So the take-home message is that bears are a little bit different than most hibernators. It's all a mechanism to allow them to survive up here in the frozen north. So if you haven't seen our videos, check them out. Subscribe to our new channel right here, and we will see you each and every week when we release a podcast.